Okay, in this presentation, we're going to look at the continuous joint probability distribution. So, uh, a very sort of simple example. A factory produces two kinds of products in any given day, widgets and gizmos. Okay, so very sort of innocuous example. Okay, so let these two products be represented by the random variables X and Y, respectively. Okay, so here we're given the joint density function, the joint probability density function, or the joint PDF. Okay, I'll just say the PDF from now on to mean the probability density function so uh, it's denoted f of x and y okay f of x and y and it's sort of piecewise so essentially two-thirds of x plus y where x is between 0 and 1 and y is between 0 and 1 inclusive okay and 0 elsewhere okay the reason that that is important is because that will simplify a lot of the definite integral calculations that we're going to do later on okay so when we di differentiate or sorry when we integrate zero we just get zero so we can just so we can ignore uh, the region where it's zero and just sort of concentrate on this okay so that's why we're able to sort of uh, I'll show you this later on anyway so find the marginal PDF of X the marginal PDF of Y and also find the probability of X less than e less than or equal to a half and Y less than or equal to a half a joint probability density uh, pro joint probability okay so what I'm gonna do here is let's go down here so the marginal PDF of X is given uh, by G of X okay so we use G just to sort of differentiate it from F because we used F already Okay, so now we've used G, we've used F, we can't use them anymore. So this is actually the formula that we use, correct, the full formula. This is the joint PDF there, F of X, of, uh, F of X and Y, okay? And what we do is integrate it uh, with respect to Y between minus infinity and infinity. Okay, that's the full formula correctly, okay? But, but so essentially what you can do is actually break up integrals into uh, over various regions, okay? Let's for between zero and minus minus infinity to zero, which is zero, and that's just, it's just you it can ignore that, and one to infinity, which you can also ignore. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, just remember this when we're looking for the prob joint probability uh, pro joint the, uh, the marginal PDF of x, we integrate with respect to y. Okay, and later on when we're looking for the marginal PDF of y, we'll integrate with respect to, to x. Okay, so. Two thirds of x plus two y dy. Okay, so what you could do, figuratively speaking, is sort of put that two thirds, which is a constant, around the other side of the integral, and just save it for later. Okay, and what we're going to do is actually focus on x plus two y there. Okay, so with respect the the integrate with res uh, with respect to y, x is simply x y. Uh, 2y is 2y squared over 2, which is just y squared, okay? And we have the definite integral bounds here, 0 and 1. Let's just sort of see how that works. Okay. So uh, when we let uh, y equal to 1, this is what we get. x times y is x times 1, which is simply x. Uh, y squared is 1 squared, which is simply 1, okay? Uh, when we let uh, y equal to 0, x, y equals 0, and y squared equals 0. So this whole thing on, on the right-hand side becomes 0. And in fact, we could have disregarded that altogether and just ignore that altogether. Okay. So the answer we're looking for is 2 thirds of x plus y. Okay. So that's the answer there. Let's just sort of like lay it down there properly. G of x equals 2 thirds of x plus y. Okay. So... Yeah, that's the first part of the question done okay so let's get started on the next part now which is very similar okay so i'm going to just go through this very quickly the marginal pdf of y is given by hy okay i actually probably should have used um that's fine anyway so uh, h of y equals the in, uh, definite uh, the integral between minus infinity and, and infinity of the joint pdf f of x y dx now so this time what we're doing here is we're we're looking for the marginal PDF of Y so it is we're integrating it with respect to X sorry I keep sometimes I say differentiate when I mean integrate okay integrate with respect to X okay so this is the joint PDF here and again we're only interested really in the interval 0 to 1 okay 
So we're going to sort of disregard the other sort of regions because the integral of zero is just zero. So we just ignore that. So we're, this is the only integral, the only region where we would get a non-zero integral. Okay. So uh, something very similar here. We're uh, different integrating with respect to x. So x become uh, when we integrate that x squared over two, and two y is simply two x y. Okay. So um and again the upper and lower bound of the definite integral is zero and one okay so we're like so this is what we do okay we let x equal to one and so x squared over two simply becomes one half okay uh two two x y when we let uh, x equal to one simply becomes two y uh zero and zero x squared over two it becomes 0 squared over 2, 0, and 2 times 0 times y is 0. So again, we can sort, sort of disregard the uh, right-hand side altogether. So just look at tidying it up the left-hand side, the answer is h of x equals 2 thirds of a half plus 2y. That's fantastic. Now, what I'm going to do actually is just to remark upon the fact that we're going to use one of these in a while, okay? So we can ignoring that two thirds there, okay? Uh, x plus two y. When we integrate that, just remember that was x squared over two plus two x y, okay? Just sort of that's the sort of we're going to reuse that shortly, okay? So let's move on to the third question here. The probability of it's a sort of the joint. I'll put that. I'll tighten 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 that up there. Okay, so the probability of x less than or equal to x, y less than or equal to y, is essentially a joint, it's essentially a double integral, okay? Uh, first off, for a differentiation with respect to x, then with respect to y, okay? So the probability of x less than or equal to half, y less than or equal to a half. Essentially, again, we're now interested in the region 0 to a half, for both x and y, okay? So that's where those integrals come from. So we're not interested in y, uh, a half to one, okay? Uh, so the region x less than or equal to half, is, remember x is only, it is only non-zero between zero and one, okay? So uh, x less than or equal to a half essentially means uh, between zero and one half, okay? Just sort of by the, uh, if you just look at the start of the question, the PDF, okay? Similarly for y, okay? Now, so that is why where those uh, definite integrals come from and why it's zero to a half, okay? It's just a sort of implicit in the, uh, what you're, the, the, the formula for the joint PDF about where it, the P joint PDF is non-zero, okay? So, this is the joint PDF, uh, two thirds of x plus two y dx dy. Okay, so again, remember what we're going to do here is focus in on. I'm just going to sort of block it off here, this part here, x plus two y dx. Essentially, that's just what we've uh, used in the last part uh, in part two. Okay, so that was x squared plus over two plus two x y. Okay, and we can leave in the two thirds there. We can sort of figuratively speaking move it outside here later on, but it's, it's fine where it is, okay? Or you can essentially you can move that two thirds out just to make life easy for yourself, okay? So we're going to integrate that on the interval uh, zero to uh, a half, okay? So a half squared is uh, one quarter, uh, so a, a half squared over two is one eighth, okay? Uh, 2x um, y is simply 2 times a half times y is simply uh, y. So we have a quarter divided by 2 is 1 eighth plus y. Okay. And again, the zero component just is goes directly to zero. So I'm going to disregard that from now on, the, the right hand part, because it's, it's essentially zero plus zero. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here now is um, actually correctly sorry i just realized i have a little made a little typo it sort of doesn't really matter here but that should have been a plus correctly okay might as well fix it while i can that should have been a plus not that it matters because it's still zero but anyway 
Okay. So uh, now we have to uh, pr uh, calculate the second part of the integral. So we have one eighth plus y dy. Okay. And uh, we have the two thirds outside. So the integral, it's a definite integral from zero to a half. Okay. So the integral of one eighth is y over eight and y is y squared over two okay so y uh, over eight when we evaluate that at one half that is simply equal to to make that a little bit clearer there this doesn't come out so great there okay is essentially y, a half over eight is one over 16 okay a half squared is uh a quarter divide that by two we get one eighth okay so essentially what we got here is one over 16 plus one over eight okay uh times two thirds so that works out to be three sixteenths and essentially just a little bit of sort of number crunching works that out to be the answer is one eighth Okay, so that's the answer we're looking for. The probability of x less than or equal to a half and y less than or equal to a half. Okay, we'll leave it there.